festive season, as we may all know, that it's upon us, and we're reporting on a number of road accidents and lives lost on the roads. My next guest says, as I quote, most of the time our behavior determines our tomorrow, and very practical is on the type of activities we engage in, close quote. He was involved in a car accident. He's a car explosion burn survivor. Selepe Madisha joins me now in studio to talk about his life experiences, really, but most importantly, the issue around self-acceptance. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for coming through. Afternoon, Paris, and thank you for having me. Thank you so much indeed. Just before we talk about issues around road safety, let's just hear your story as to how everything happened. Well, Paris, uh, I, every time I keep talking about this story, it takes me a bit mm. back and then it, 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 it brings back all those memories. But in actual fact, what happened was a car explosion accident. It happened here in, in the Midland and the Allendale Road in 2004, September the 18th. I remember very well it was a Saturday morning. It was a very misty weather. And uh, it happened to be the five of us, or the five, meaning I, it's myself and my four friends. So what happens is uh, we were having a chiller session, as we can call it nowadays, that uh, after the chiller session there happened to be some plans now to go to other areas. These things happen, yeah. especially when people are still teenagers. Mm. So little did we know that the journey was not going to end very well. So when we got into the, into the Allendale Road, the driver did not have a clear visibility of what was taking place. And as a result, missed the sharp curve and hit uh, uh, onto the gravel road. So what happened is he, the car was only st uh, stopped by the, by the electric danger box in that field. So I, uh, from, from there on, I actually went unconscious. Yeah. So most of the story I will grasp there was only then when I was released after the ICU. But and what you hear. know is your friends survived. Yes, definitely they did. Mm. I happened to be the only one that was victimized. Yeah. Yes. Were you trapped in the car? Because of the unconsciousness, I was you never, I was not really trapped. Yeah. Uh, it, it is, it, it is, it is the driver that, that was able to realize me and pulled me out of that car and took me out of away from the scene. So, but, but, it's, uh, but the just, car had uh, already exploded by that time. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. So what actually happened is, is it was just a, 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 a matter of about, you can say three meters or so away from the car. When he pulled me out of the car, then the explosion took place. So only then we look out the seconds that, 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 uh, in care there that the life will have been gone. Mm. Now, 14 years later, Selepe, what life lessons have you drawn from that experience? It happened, of course, a while ago. You were still a teenager, as you say, uh, from a chila session, and it's the festive season now. A lot of those happen. Yes, definitely. Well, key pointers that I've learned from the palace, like I quoted to you, it, it, it just brings out uh, to realize, actually, what friends mean to you. Because mm -hmm. nowadays we become friends, and at the end of the day, when we are tra when we are travelled in other things, and so then the two colours started coming out. So, so the say when days are dark, friends are few. Definitely, goes for you as well. That's a very definite say. Part of the other things is, is the expenses, unexpected expenses that you get to be part of. Because in any case, that calls for medicals. Luckily, one had a medical aid. Imagine if one did not have a medical aid and had one go other ways. So those amongst um, um, amongst those uh, uh, occurrences that take place. I, I take lessons to talk to the friends. I talk to my peers, I talk to family members, I talk to everybody that I come to counter and tell them my story mm -hmm. in, in, in a quest for them to learn from what happened, yeah. not to repeat the same yeah. thing. It certainly wasn't an easy journey for you and obviously you were not born like this. It's an accident that happened. How did you come to accept who the new Selepe was now after the accident? My acceptance actually took place when I was still in the hospital, Palisa. Mm. When I was discharged from the ICU, even actually before I was discharged from the ICU itself, I had the privilege of seeing myself on a mirror. That was when I saw this new face for the first time on a mirror reflection. And only then did I stare at that mirror for a couple of minutes and talk to myself internally and told myself, this is the new me. I'm no longer going back, but I must make life out of these new looks, and this is what I'm doing today. Mm. But I think most importantly now, you've taken it upon yourself to talk to the young people. Uh, you're emphasizing most importantly on um, safety issues on the road, more so on the festive season, but you're also a member of the Burn Association of South Africa. Yes, I'm, I'm actually about, uh, about 
member there and an ambassador for the National Ben Association of South Africa as well. So through that foundation, that is where we actually bring out this Ben awareness. Mm. Uh, because Ben's can happen at any given time. I mean, we are now in the sessions where we'll be brying, some kids will be left unattended, some kids will try to attempt to bry and all those other things. And it is during this time that we come out there in full force to say that, please, to stay, to stay away from, 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 from the hazard, from the hazards that can actually lead to the bands. And should those bands in care, organizations such as the uh, National Band Associations of South Africa are there for you. Mm. And as you say, Celebe, that you, you know, talk to a lot of young people about your experiences, the reception of your message to them. Do well, of course, understand they, what you tell them? It depends on how you enforce it. Mm. Uh, it depends on how you enforce it. The other time I spoke to a couple of, 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 of matriculants in the Duduza area, where it was a combination of about seven high schools altogether. I, was, I, I got a good uh, response basically from the teachers themselves because they spend time with those, with those learners and they could tell when they are attentive or not. And believe you me, they said the way that was, that was positioned under, under, under my own initiative, which is Tombo Aspirations. So I'm, I'm a director for that company. So what I did is I, I, I arranged for that, for that particular metric dance motivational session and I calculate this thought of the accident there. Because remember, what is after they do that, anything can happen to anyone at any given time. True. But that doesn't mean now that your skills ends there. You can go out today here, you can, you can accidentally bump into your leg, but you still remain a presenter. Mm. You can still do the That's job. That's true. Yes. Now, we're reporting on a number of accidents already into this festive season. Your message to road users, drivers, the young people who will be embarking on jetties and going on the chiller sessions, as you say. Yeah, so, so there, there, there will be a number of those trips that will be taking place. So initiatives like this, for instance, uh, uh, when I shared with you that ad that I created myself, mm. I'm happy to say that after of all my peers, remember I start from me, Balisa. If yeah. I have something in me, then I start sharing it with you, and you saying it to a friend, a friend saying it to a friend, saying it to a friend. That's, that's how the message gets spread across. But however, personally, I don't think, I don't think uh, a lot of initiatives are already done, the practical version of them. Look, remember, nowadays people don't really like to read. That's a problem yeah. that we face too. So are you working with any organizations, perhaps the likes of Road Traffic Management Corporation or the Department of Transport maybe, I to raise really, awareness? I haven't really got the recognition. I can tell you I've always challenged those departments uh, about five years ago. Mm. Each year around this time I try and challenge it, but obviously to no success. But I hope this time around we will get somewhere. All right, Selepe, we have to leave it at that. Thank you so much for coming through and all the best with all your initiatives and your new bundle of joy. Congratulations on that one. Thank you very much. All right, again. well, there you you have it. Uh, Selepe Madisha is a car explosion burn survivor, of course, uh, talking to the young people out there as we are now upon, or rather the festive season is upon us to say take it easy on the road and um, remain safe. We're reporting on a number of accidents already uh, happening here on our roads.